Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst. And today's date is Wednesday the 22nd of November and the time is just approaching 12pm UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is going to be the Hang Seng, or as we call it here at CMC Markets, the Hong Kong 50. So the first thing you notice about the price action over the last couple of years, because this chart uh, on the daily chart here spans back uh, until late 2015, over the, since over the last couple of years, uh, we can see uh, since since early 2016, the market has been in a very clear and concise upward trend, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows, making its way up to north of 30,000. Uh, the Hang Seng traded north of 30,000 for the first time uh, in 10 years, so that, that'll give you an indication of how bullish the actual market is. And if you look back here in, in February 2016, where the market traded nearly as low as 18,000, since the low of February 2016 until now, the market has gained 66%, which is obviously quite a considerable move. And for the time being, uh, we're not seeing any signs that the bullish sentiment is running out of steam. If we kind of zoom in on the daily chart, we can get a better uh, indication. And we can see even clearer how much of a kind of obvious bullish trend the market has been, kind of a series of higher highs, Trading sideways through August and September, pushing on to a new high in October and under fresh multi-year high in October, only to retrace and go on and hit another uh, multi-year high this month. Turning our attention now to the downside, if we look here at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see when the market was 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 uh, was, come, was, uh, was re retreating somewhat in October, we saw there was a steady increase in the negative momentum. The MACD histogram was in was a negative territory and it was steadily increasing. But then as the market, underlying market, turned positive in November to go on and continue the, the wider upward trend and create fresh multi-year highs, we can see that the MACD histogram swung back into positive territory. And now actually the positive momentum is actually increasing. And when the momentum and the price are moving in the same direction, you can be more confident the move will last. As the market's pushing higher, the rate of change, the momentum is pushing higher also. So the momentum is clearly with the buyers. Now, it is worth pointing out this candle here from yesterday, where the market traded north of 31,000. Even though the cash market didn't actually trade north of 31,000, the futures market temporarily did. And we ha and, and uh, there hasn't been any uh, announce hasn't been any announcements from the authorities or the exchange in Hong Kong to to state any erroneous trades went through. So that that, that trade yesterday and that candle from yesterday when it went north of 31,000 is actually a valid candle. But as I said, the move was very short lived because it appears that it was a one off trade, a very high volume that spiked the futures market. Uh, the, currently, the Hang Seng is trading in or just just north of 30,000 at 30,050 ish. We appear to be getting support in around the kind of 30,000 level or just south of it, perhaps even down to as down to 29,935, the low of the day. So that area could act as support uh, before we potentially look to move higher yet again on the Hang Seng. It's been in, in a clear and concise upward trend. So buying the dip has been a popular strategy with some traders over the last number of months and even for the last about two or ne nearly two years. So looking to the upside, should the upward trend continue, the next big kind of psychological number to look out for to the upside will be 31,000. And if we go beyond 31,000, the next big level to watch out for beyond that will, have, will be the 2007 high of 31,958. But as I said, uh, if we do turn lower, uh, we, we may see some buyers enter the fold, seeing as buying of the dip has been a very popular strategy over the last number of months. So if the market does make a decisive break south of, say, 30,000 or even 29,900, we could see the market pull back to towards this area here, the, 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 the lows of, uh, of only yesterday, at 29,280. Uh, support also may come into play in around 28,810, which is a high from October. Or maybe we could even see the market potentially retrace as, as far back as the uh, as 28,447, which is the 50-day moving average. And notice how we only only a few weeks ago, earlier in, in November, the market does have a, have a, a recent history of, of the 50-day moving average acting as support. So we could see some buyers enter the fold should we see a pullback in the Hang Seng. Uh, that's all from me this week. Thank you for listening and please tune in next week.